is how I play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone. Warning. What you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Hi, everybody. Hi. Pig with a party hat. Did a hundred bit cheer. Said, hello, Mr. Piggy. A lot of people have asked, gee, what did Phil do? Why, why do you need that day off? Very simply put, it wasn't very exciting. It was mostly me doing things that I couldn't do during the weekend. Like, for example, a doctor's appointment. I haven't had sex in ages. <laughs> uh, I got a haircut. Woohoo, you know. It wasn't anything super duper thrilling. Uh, it was just stuff that is a lot more difficult to schedule during a, a Saturday, for example. So, had to take a random weekday. And, you know, from time to time, I may have to do that. We did actually hit the final sub goal for the month of... July. We hit 500 subs on Monday night. I actually had gone offline after playing Vice City, and apparently there was a big rally of support from a couple of people who were, uh, not only some people were subbing, but they were gifting subs, and we hit 500 subs, okay? <clears throat> so what does that mean? All right, well, a few things. Number one, we're already, we're going to be doing the 10-year anniversary retrospective event, as well as a new Patron's Choice playthrough, but since we hit a Tier 3 sub goal, uh, what I'm going to be doing now, which I actually began, began looking around for stuff for this yesterday, actually... Um, I got a couple ideas, actually. There's gonna be a new special episode of DSP Tries It, a special comedy-style episode. I became more of, like, a, a joke or a laughing stock on YouTube. Where I try out some kind of a wacky product. I'm not sure what exactly it's gonna be yet. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, quite frankly, I'm gonna be very busy over the next few weeks working on things, like the, uh, the, the Rage-a-thon, and all these new playthroughs and new games coming out paired with the stuff that I'm trying to finish up for the summer. So I know I'm gonna be quite busy, but I'm gonna still keep my eyes peeled and keep looking, and then probably... Uh, hopefully by the end of August, I'll have selected an item that'll be for this new DSP Tries It, and I'll be able to film it and put that out for you guys, alright? But, just so you know, it's not coming out right away, I have to get some good ideas for what I'm gonna do before I film. I don't wanna just rush something out that's a piece of shit, you know what I mean? I wanna at least be able to do something that's fun and interesting. Pledge today. What is the subscriber goal for the month of August? It's the return of the Indies Marathon. I've set up the level one sub goal. For 525 subscribers for the month. Disgusting beggar. It's hilarious because you can actually take a look at the stream chat. And everyone who's like, oh, Indies again. It's the same people who just basically sit here and are negative every time, every single day. Or it's newcomers, I, I don't know who they are. They're probably just here to troll. In general, <clears throat> the Indies marathons are some of the most popular things I do. That's 100% a lie. The Lollicop did a series of cheers. His first one says, Phil, I have an idea. Why don't you have a new patron perk with some X amount of fans can talk to you through voice chat like Skype. Once a month, it would be nice. Thoughts about it. There's two reasons why I've, I've considered that in the past, Lollicop, and I can't do it. The first is because, sadly, a lot of these voice over IP style programs like Skype, Discord, etc., there are ways to find out a person's IP address on the other side of a conversation. I know that sounds weird, but it's true. Like, someone already did it to me once years ago. They found my IP through Skype, and then they ended up uh, attacking me for a while. You know, I'm a simple guy. I'm a gamer. I'm not a techie. I'm not a fucking guy that knows all the ins and outs of this shit. You're like talking to a, a lay person. You're talking to a gamer. You're not talking to an editor. You're not talking to a PC you know, builder. You're not talking to a techie guy. You're talking to a guy who just wants to sit down, press record, play a game, and have fun. And it sucks. Now, now supposedly Skype is safer. Supposedly, you know, um, Discord is safe. It's not. Everyone thinks it is because they just, they don't understand that if someone wants to get your IP, they will. And when you have a direct connection with someone like that, it's very risky. So that's one of the major reasons why I have never done stuff like that. Because I've been attacked in the past. And you know, it's funny, already in the street chat, I feel so paranoid. Dude, that's not how, I, I'm not paranoid. Maybe I'm paranoid by nature. I've had my IP stolen through various methods in the past, and I've been DDoS attacked for months on end. Right now, I rely on having great internet to stream every day. Without this, I can't make any money. It's, it's gross. It's for this. So sadly, I just can't take that risk. The other thing is, and this is the other realistic factor here, time. You have to realize, Lollicop, that I have a worldwide audience, and everyone has a different schedule, different time zone, and it's not like, oh, well, 
I'm going to say on Sunday night, I'm going to spend three hours talking to all of my patrons, right? That's not how it works. Most of the people do, oh, okay, I'm not available then. You know, that's, that's nighttime for me or I'm at work or whatever. See what I mean? Like, it's almost impossible to work out a set a schedule where I'd be able to talk with everyone. It would end up being such a, 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 a time-consuming thing. And already, you guys know, I already don't have a lot of free time. The little time that I get to spend with my girl every day is like an hour and a half a day, you know? It, it would be a different story if... Uh, you know, things were different, but they're not, you know, I, I live the life I live, I stream 8 to 10 hours a day with work, you know, work behind that, and, and then, you know, I get very little time to really do much here with my girl, and, uh, that's kind of my life, you know, and I don't have a lot of free time to do this kind of stuff, especially, it would be one thing if, oh, okay, everyone who pledges in America, right, and now we can all figure it out, like, one day a week we sit down and I do it, I can't, it's not how it works, you know, so, sadly, that's pretty much it, and, uh, that's why I can't do something like that, okay? Ziggy Piggy cheered. He says, what's the most stressful thing you have to deal with on a daily basis involving your job? Um. Honestly, when I'm actually playing the games and streaming and having fun with you guys, it's not stressful at all. Like, even though sometimes I'll read you the game or whatever because it's difficult, that really doesn't stress me out. I'll be real honest with everyone. Just making an edited YouTube video is very easy. Doing live improv reactionary commentary is tough. The hard shit is sitting here playing the raw games. That's the hard part. Streaming is way harder than just editing videos for YouTube. Okay? It is. Real talk. At all. Um, I would say it's the behind-the-scenes shit. You know, the fact that, oh, God, now I make no money on YouTube. What's, what's the next piece of harassment that I'm going to suffer when all I did was put out a fun gameplay stream for you guys today? What's the next piece of slander? What's the next piece of harassment? What's the next piece of horse shit that I have to put up with behind the scenes that may negatively affect me? Hopefully it doesn't, right? But it happens all the time. You know, constant nonsense. And it gets very draining and it becomes very, very, uh, um, it gets very, very tiring, okay? When you have a situation where you love your job, but behind the scenes there's always so much negative shit that it kind of drags you down overall behind the scenes. And mentally, I'm very drained. You know, back in high school, I was on a cocktail of medications. I mean, real talk, when I was in high school at one point, I was to the point where I, I was losing it. I wanted to either go do something drastic or, you know, go nuts. There was a girl who I was, like, obsessed with for a while. Especially now, with I don't know what's going to happen in just a couple of months with money. I don't know because I'm making no money on YouTube anymore. That's constantly begging. You know, and, and typically the end of the year is when YouTube revenue goes sky high for the holidays. And now I'm not going to make none of that. And it's like, I don't know what I'm going to do. Sell the house. You know, it really does terrify me. And, I, you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Like I said, there may be a solution. To, I don't know. We'll find out. But that's the shit that bothers me. That's what stresses me out. It's not It's not the fun stuff on stream. It's not the game. It's none of that. It's, it's the shit behind the scenes, right? That drives me nuts, so. Stinkin' Burroughs did a 355-bit cheer. He says, who is your daddy and what does he do? Who is your daddy and what does he do? My girlfriend is obviously Papa Lou in a wig. Jay Kramer cheers. I think people get frustrated when they ask you if you would do something like the Skype thing. And your detractors make fun of you because you say I can't all the time. That's what I heard. Well, guess what? I'm a realist. Saying I can't and giving a valid reason is different than just saying I can't because I don't want to. It's not that I don't want to. Fuck that, Phil. You are a dirty, rotten liar. You guys gotta understand. <clears throat> I would. I love doing new stuff. I love doing special events. Uh, you know, just like people say, well, Phil, you should put videos, pri you know, private on your YouTube channels only for patrons. Everyone does that. Everyone who does Patreon and who's successful has private videos just for their patron. I can't do that because I was directly told when I signed up for Patreon three years ago, I was told by my detractors, well, if you do that, we'll have one person sign up for whatever perk level that is, and they'll just distribute those videos to everyone on the internet for free, and therefore no one will pledge for that perk level because it'll be worthless because we're just going to steal all your content and do it for free. So I can't do it. You see what I mean? Other YouTubers may be able to do this perk level right? Other streamers, because they don't have malicious dicks who try to steal their fucking IPs and then are going to completely destroy them. You know, I'm sorry, this is my livelihood. I can't risk my, my only form of income, which is Twitch, on something as frivolous as a new patron event. You see what I mean? We know what's going to win. The troll answer wins. The troll answer always wins. Oh, yeah. I'm a realist. So, you know what? It's funny. because Oh, your detractors make fun of you all the time. My detractors are the reason I can't do the shit that I can't do. So, why do you think that they're bringing it up? Because it's a way that they got attention. Oh, we got attention because we, we fuck with Phil all the time and now he can't do stuff because of us, so let's talk about it and laugh. So, how about this, Jay Kramer? Instead of saying stupid shit like that, just don't fucking listen to what the detractors say. 
You'll have a much better time. Maybe you should stop listening to all the things they say and just focus on positive stuff because you're wasting your fucking time and you're wasting my time with a stupid statement like that. You gotta listen to me. And not listen to the people who spin what I say. Third Eye the Third cheered, and he said, What made you change your stance on sponsored streams? I suggest a couple of months back, you and you said I was crazy, and those who do them are fake, and that, in any case, I'm glad you wised up. Actually, Third Eye the Third, what I said was doing a sponsored stream where you're forced to basically talk positively about a game, i.e. a paid advertisement, um, is bullshit. And I, the, the frame of reference I'll give you, all right, is that there was a particular game that a, a few streamers were given very early, oh, about a week early, and they were all playing it, and people were telling me while they were playing it a week early that they were playing it on Twitch, and then I did a little bit of research and found out, dur per the terms and conditions of them getting that game early, they were not allowed to give their opinion on the game at all, because that would be considering breaking the review embargo. So they could play the game on stream and react to what was going on in the game, but they could literally not say, wow, that's good, or wow, that's bad, because that was considered review embargo breaking. All they could do is play the game and do, like, reactionary commentary to stuff and then talk to people on stream. They couldn't actually give their opinions at all, which means that's a paid advertisement. That I would never do. I would never do that. I just play games. I'm here to play games and have fun. I'm not here to be a whore, all right? I'm not here to beg you for money. A dollar a month actually helps and adds up, all right? As little as a dollar helps, okay? Ayudame, por favor. It's muy importante. I need your help. I still need your help. I'm going to need your guys' help. I really am. I'm going to need your support. I need it. The money helps me out tremendously. I'm, I'm hypocritical. <laughs> Pretty hypocritical, I agree. That's, that's ridiculous, ingenuous content. It's not legit. You know, the, the flip side is these sponsored streams that I'm considering doing on Twitch are not that. Uh, the only criteria that I'm given is that, yes, you can be honest, but don't be unfairly overly negative, right? So, for example, if I'm playing World of Tanks and the game's continuously crashing on my console, or, or excuse me, on my PC, I can make the comment, man, I don't know what's going on, why this game isn't really jiving with my PC, that's kind of ridiculous. If I'm playing the game and I'm not liking it, I can say, man, you know, this game really isn't my cup of tea for whatever reason, I'm just not enjoying myself, you know. But if I say, this game is a stinking, honking piece of shit, the worst game ever made, yeah, then on a sponsored stream, I'm probably going to get in trouble, right? That's the difference. Now, let's face it, in general, that's an overreaction. And yes, every once in a while, if I'm really angry at a game, I will react that way. But in general, these sponsored streams on Twitch allow you to give your honest opinions. If you really don't like a game, you can say it. As long as you're not slamming the game, right, for something that's completely unfair, right, or you're doing it to an extreme to get some kind of a ridiculous reaction out of your viewers, these sponsored streams allow you to have a legit opinion on a game, which was not allowed in those sponsored streams that I was criticizing a few months back, okay? <clears throat> that's the difference. The difference of a 100% shill, paid advertisement, right, versus an actual legitimate gameplay stream, okay? And since, yeah, since these streams allow me to do that, why wouldn't I do a sponsored stream? So, why am I going to change myself just to make a buck? Anything for this, right? As long as I'm showing... Really, what they're looking for is exposure. They're not looking for you to kiss a game's ass. They're looking for exposure. They want their game to get more exposure and have people more awareness for this game. That's the point of these streams, versus there are streams where you have to kiss the game's ass, you know, which is ridiculous. So... That's the difference, and that's why I'm considering doing the, the Twitch sponsored streams coming up, uh, because they give you that freedom, because they're not just paid shill kind of content, which is good, right? I wouldn't want to participate in that kind of shit. Everything's got to be about making the almighty dollar. Greed is massively strong. I have no fucking self-control. Super, superu, cheered and said, hey man, you said you went to the doctor, I hope everything's going well. Well, what happens in my personal life stays in my personal life. If I feel like revealing anything to you guys, I will. Um, but, yeah. I, you know, basically, it was a very boring... Well, not, the whole day wasn't boring. But, you know, going to the doctor and getting your hair cut isn't exactly the most exciting things to do on a day off, but that, I had to do them all in one day, so. Hardy Buck cheered. He said, you once said someone sent, sent your parents a letter. Were you ever sent anything else strange? Just curious. The weirdest thing I ever got was shit. I got shit in the mail. I actually got shit in the mail. Devour. Devour. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, it was good. Oh, it was delicious. Oh, that was so good, man. That's not a lot of me lying. That's not an exaggeration. I got actual feces through the fucking mail. <laughs> I look like you're laughing, too. Well, it's funny. That was years ago, though. That actually was not recent. That was a while ago. Um, But that was kind of disgusting. And I was like, wow. How nice. Now, you know, I'm sure people have tried to send me stuff over the years. The, the funniest one was the guy who earlier this year admitted he tried to send me a giant cardboard penis 
And I have no idea what he's talking about. I never got it. So apparently the guy sent it to the wrong... Not only did he spend hours picking out a cardboard penis to send to me, then he sent it to the wrong place. That's the intelligence level of the people who do this shit. So, you see what I mean? But, uh, yeah, pretty gross. And there you go. Jay Kramer just did a na uh, just a another nasty uh, message. So I've had enough. I'm just going to ban. And uh, goodbye to Jay Kramer. I don't know what else to say. The guy has brought up the tractor stuff three times now during the stream. And then he says something nasty to me and he acts like I'm going to just like roll over and let him just derail my stream and be negative. I mean, he's a jerk. Bye. <laughs> oh, you're going to get salt, 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 salt. It's, oh, even now, again, my mouth overpowered with salt flavor. All I can taste is the saltiness. I don't know what else to say, Jay Kramer. Bye. Bye and you won't be missed. People in here are here to have fun and hang out with me and have fun gameplay experiences and just chill out and laugh and be positive and not have to put up with your crap. You know, we don't need influences like you in here. Bye. <laughs> and this is good because now you got other people who are now going to be negative too, which is good because now I can get rid of them too and we can have a fun stream, you know? Why am I toxic? Whoa, die James. Die James just did a 700 bit cheer. He said, sorry I couldn't be here earlier, my girlfriend escaped. That means, but thank you very much for the 700 bit cheer, and let's get him up on the uh, top cheer for the day, right? What pasta do you prefer? I prefer a penne. Oh! Easy to eat. Oh! Phil's a faggot. Phil's fat. Phil's a loser. Phil's a beggar. Phil's a racist. Phil's a scammer. DSP is a pedophile. DSP is a thief. DSP is a greedy fuck. This guy's a bitch. I have a micro penis. <laughs> Alright, I'm not dead, but I swear to God, I wish I fucking was.